Hello everyone! In this recording, I'm going to cover the key takeaway points of the Velux commercial case study for you. According to a Gartner study, 75% of all indoor location tracking projects require four or more use cases, including people tracking. And this project is a great proof of that. Using Savio RTLS and the software from our gold partner Asecotate, Velux Commercial was able to fulfill seven different use cases using a single RTLS infrastructure. To kick things off, let's first take a look at the background of the company itself. Velux is a globally very well-known manufacturer of roof windows. And Velux Commercial, our end customer, is a division of Velux that is based in Denmark and that focuses on producing huge customized roof windows and skylights targeting large commercial clients such as airports, shopping malls or schools. Within this factory, they wanted to achieve a couple of different goals. First of all, they wanted to get a 3D digital twin of their factory, which essentially allows them to see everything that is happening at their factory in real time in an online 3D model. Hand in hand with this goes the possibility to visualize and have an overview of all the metrics of what is happening on the production side so that they can really improve their daily operations, material flow and production steps. On top of this, the Digital Twin also allows them to simulate any possible changes to their processes before implementing them in real life. To be able to analyze everything that is happening under their roof, they of course need advanced analytics such as heat maps and spaghetti diagrams. And because they have a unique training for newcomers, they wanted to enhance it by also including some of the data from their RTLS. Last but not least, the goal was to improve the ergonomics of the work environment, creating a better employee experience and increasing employee satisfaction. The main challenge of this project was to orchestrate the data from tracking several objects, such as AGVs and machines, but also people, within a single system, while also allowing for the integration and support of all current and possible future use cases. Otherwise, the production hall is fairly small, just a little over 2,300 square meters. And to cover this area, we had to install 12 anchors. And currently, the project tracks 59 different objects with a 30 centimeter accuracy. This is a view of the production hall. What Asekotseit has done is that they created the digital twin within their platform and basically whatever is now happening in the production hall in real time, you can at the same time see online within the digital twin platform. Now, moving on to those seven different use cases. Let's start with the one that is quite unique and also very specific to the production at Velux Commercial. This is again a view into the production hall, and you can see that all of the window frames get transported between the different production zones and stations. So the windows are basically staying on these tables, which are then just moving across the production hall. This is a close-up to the AGV holding the material which is then processed at the workstations. And since each member of the Velux team has a different height, the system is able to adjust the height of the table to the height of the worker at each workstation. So, to briefly sum things up, this is a digital twin showing a zone called Press 1, which is the first station in the production line. The AGV then brings in the frame and the height of the working table is adjusted according to the height of the closest person to the zone who is at the same time also authorized to do this kind of work. This brings two main benefits. First, the workstation becomes ergonomic, which means the workers are happier and more comfortable during their work, but at the same time, they're not losing their time adjusting the height of their station by themselves. The second use case is about the workstation monitoring and management. So this is an overview of the production hall and it, you can compare its performance with the plan in real time. And you can of course zoom in to each workstation and again compare its performance with the production plan in detail. So this is the monitoring part, but there's also the management part. Here you can see that the AGV just arrived with the material and the fact 
there is no one with a certain skill set needed for the job basically sets a trigger that there is a missing worker, which is what we can see on the right side of the screen here. This information is not only triggered, but is also shown on the different monitors in the production hall, and then the closest person that fits the needs of this job is called to the particular zone. The triggers are set not only to call the needed workers to do the job, but also to find the closest person with the required skill set, thus increasing the efficiency of this process. Total productive maintenance is another use case put into practice at Velux, and the added value here is of course having a complete overview of all maintenance tasks. You know exactly where a task is happening, to whom it is assigned, how long it theoretically takes to complete it, and how long it then actually took. But the most value added by the RTLS here is the fact that you know where the task should be taking place and you can get navigated to it, taking the most efficient route available. I already mentioned that they are doing the virtual reality trainings at Velux, where essentially every production process is covered by multiple steps that need to be taken within the training in order to complete it. You're given a 3D virtual reality active man to go through this training, and the RTLS aspect here adds the real-time traffic and real-time movement within the production hall. So basically, if the people would be training using a model, that model would be outdated in the very moment that they are doing the training, because everything moves differently in real-time than in the model itself. However, Having the ability to have real-time data in the training moves it to a whole new level of experience and knowledge that is passed on to the trainee. Having all of the real-time data about all of the movements within the production hall, of course, allows to create more advanced analytical views and reporting. This is one example of that, a heat map. Here we can see the density of traffic within the production hall. We can easily spot the places which are being used the most. We can see which places are not in use much or at all. On the other hand, here we can take a look at the actual path of essentially everything that is moving and we're tracking as it can be visualized using spaghetti diagrams, which is just another analytical tool to spot bottlenecks and to streamline processes in the production. And once the bottlenecks are revealed, we can of course try to simulate the changes that we would like to propose in the process. And for that, the system has also a parametric simulation model, which allows us to add certain attributes to what we need to simulate. And then we can once again see it in the 3D digital twin model, and we can double check to make sure that we did not solve one problem by creating another. Now, the last use case is a real-time dashboard with KPIs, which now allows all the decision makers of the company to gain access to real-time data that everyone believes in. For example, I can tell you that within the last shift, we were able to meet our production quota and we can go into details to see how the machines and people were moving. I can clearly show you that a bottleneck occurred at this particular stage and took so and so long to resolve. And I have data to support my claims which are gathered within one tool that everyone has access to and which is a single source of truth, telling us what can be improved, where and how it can be improved. So, all of these use cases and changes led to the following success metrics. First, they were able to increase productivity thanks to a better shop floor management by 10%. Also, the RTLS addition to their virtual training meant that the time needed to complete the adaption process is now 25% shorter than before. Also, their work in progress decreased by 10% thanks to the improvement in communication channels. And by that we mean how the material and people are going through the different production stages within the production hall. And then last but not least, a 50% performance boost of maintenance activities thanks to having a system in place of where to go, what is the best route to take, and how long the task should take. For more details, feel free to read the full case study, and thanks for tuning in.